Of the approximately 7,000 known rare diseases, 95% do not have an FDA-approved treatment. Most rare diseases affect only a few hundred to several thousand people, making them extremely difficult to study. Research funding can be scarce. So today, we're joined by Michael Hund, CEO of EB Research Partnership, the largest global organization dedicated to funding research to treat and cure epidermolysis bullosa, or EB. And Alexander Gambin, Chief Brand Officer at Elongate, who is bridging the gap between cryptocurrency and charity. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank you, Olga. Before we learn how you both are changing the model for rare disease research funding, let's hear about epidermolysis bullosa and how it affects patients. Take a look. Epidermolysis bullosa, or EB, is a family of life-threatening rare genetic disorders that affect the body's largest organ, the skin. Individuals with EB lack critical proteins that bind the skin's two layers together. Without these proteins, the skin tears apart, blisters, and shears off, leading to severe pain, disfigurement, and internal and external wounds that may never heal. There are four main types of EB which vary in severity and location of where the blisters form. In the more severe forms, life expectancy ranges from early infancy to just 30 years of age. Today, there are no treatments or cures available for the approximately 500,000 children who are affected with EB. We met Chris and Eileen, whose five-year-old son, Brady, endures severe pain and grueling bandage changes as a result of his EB. So when Brady was born, I noticed something was very wrong when I looked at him. Brady did not have skin on his feet. I remember a whiteboard over his, you know, bassinet in the NICU that just said, epidermolysis bullosa question mark. I could tell by the looks on their faces and by their hesitancy that they hoped this was not the diagnosis. We realized very quickly when we got home that we would wrap wounds, but they wouldn't get better over time. That we would always need um, very expensive bandaging that would work for his skin, that we would need a full-time nurse to care for him. This wasn't something that would get better over several weeks or months. It was going to be lifelong. It was, there was this moment where you realized it was bigger than you. In that moment of bath and bandages, it's very hard, it's painful, it's, there's anxiety, there's tears, there's frustration. You cause a lot of pain for him uh, to get those dressings fixed and done, but you have to cause that pain for him to heal and feel better in the long run. And that was the most difficult part of that. At his fifth birthday, we were sitting around the table saying what we loved about Brady and, and his wishes for, and he said he wished for better skin. And being a part of EB Research Partnership is so meaningful for, for us because they are working so diligently to find relief for our boy. Gentlemen, what a compelling story. Yes, it was, Oka, and we hear so many of those stories. Michael, let me start with you. What is the mission of EB Research Partnership? At EB Research Partnership, we have one bold, audacious goal, which is to treat, heal, and cure EB. You know, EB Research Partnership was started by a group of parents that simply set out to save their children's lives. <sighs> When they started the organization 10 years ago, there was little research, it was a bleak landscape. Since then, we've funded nearly 100 projects, raised $40 million, and now we have, for the first time ever, four phase three clinical trials, which is the last phase before hopeful approvals, because we don't have one yet. What do we look for the next 10 years? We want this disease gone and cured. So one of the ways in which we do that is an innovative model called venture philanthropy. And what that means is we don't just write checks and, and hope for the best. We invest in projects to build an upside so we can generate a return on investment or return on impact so funds go back to the foundation to fund more research until we cure the disease. Alex, I was reading here, Elongate is the world's first and largest charity crypto token. So how is Elongate leveraging the power of cryptocurrency for good? Elongate is more than just a cryptocurrency. It's a social impact movement powered by crypto, and we're building the future of philanthropy. And Elongate is working to make sure that earning always goes hand in hand with giving. 
and partnering with EB Research Partnership has really given our community an opportunity to stretch its boundaries, reach out, and use its financial resources for mutual benefit. Because with crypto, money doesn't have to be a zero-sum game. Talk to me, Michael, a little bit more about this partnership and the difference it's making. Absolutely. You know, when you have big visions and missions like curing a rare disease, you need great teams. So when we met Alex and Elongate, they approached us and say, look, the crypto community is a very generous community. They want to support good causes. Let's talk about how we can do that. So rather than just making a donation, we thought bigger and we said, why don't we create a Crypto for Cures fund where we could leverage Elongate's generosity and expertise in the cryptocurrency space, but use that as a stone that could create ripples and bring many more people in in the community and build something that lasts. So our goal is to raise a million dollars in cryptocurrency. Wow. We're already a third of the way there. So <sighs> it's been off to the races and a great start. I want Brady to be happy and uh, live a fulfilling life. And he's a kid like all the other millions and millions of kids around the world. And he deserves that just as much as any of them do. The, my favorite thing as a dad is uh, the the doctor's orders that to keep his fingers flexible, he needs to play as many video games as possible. So that drives Eileen nuts, but um, that's something we, uh, we encourage, I encourage. <laughs> the kids are very normal about it, and that's really neat to be able to have that relaxing part of the day as, as the day ends, to be able to play with friends and close the day in that way. The only way we're going to see changes is through research and uh, new discoveries, and and those um, those change uh, those can change both you know treatments and cure of the disease, and that's why we're 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 putting so much time and effort into those that research. Bringing our perspective to. EB Research Partnership was something that they valued. So when they reached out to me to be a part of the board, I was very honored and gave us a lot of hope and it, and it continues to do so. I hope that Brady finds value in himself and purpose and peace. Gentlemen, Obviously, there's an urgency for treatment. Uh, Michael, talk to me about just how the fact that we're not just searching for a cure for EB. I mean, this is for all rare diseases, right? Absolutely, and we heard Brady's story. There's so many stories like Brady's, not only in EB, and, but in all of rare disease. So for us, the goal is if we can turn doctor's appointments and bleach baths and bandaging into fun and vacations and really just time being a kid, that's the ultimate goal. That's what we work so hard for. So part of that is the science that we fund. Gene editing, exon skipping, gene therapies can be scaled to other rare diseases. But part of it is having our innovative model and partnerships like the one with Elongate lead the way for the thousands of other rare diseases. And goals are important. And what is the goal, or at least the hope, for a cure? With you know, for patients, it's, it's never soon enough. But for the first time ever, leading researchers and scientists around the world believe we have a real chance to cure this disease, not only in our lifetimes, but <sighs> in the near future. So our goal is to cure this disease by 2030. Our support is going to go towards so much more than just curing one disease, but many more after that. Please come back when there is a cure. I'd love a follow-up, and thank you both for what you're doing. Thank you so much, Thank Olga. you, Olga. And if you'd like more information on the work Michael is doing, visit ebresearch.org. And to support Elongate's mission, visit elongate.cc. And you can always just go to our website, super easy, thebalancingact.com. <laughs>